we begin with another scare near Capitol Hill two carjackings in less than 10 minutes. The first one happened this morning at a gas station in Southeast DC. The second near a middle school in Northeast and they might be part of a troubling trend. Our Brianne Carter is live in Southeast DC this afternoon with the details. Bree. Well, Jimmy, really a scary start to the day for one driver here at this Sunoco gas station. Take a look here at this pump. Well, that was part of the crime scene. Police just wrapping up a few moments ago. Well, we understand that that pump as well as the curb here, that is where the car ended up. All of that involved in this. Police say they were called here just before 830 for an armed carjacking. Now, police are not saying at this point if the woman who was carjacked was pumping gas at the time when the suspects came up and demanded the car. Now, no one was injured in all of this, and at this point, police aren't releasing any information in terms of who they might be looking for in connection with this. People who live and work in this area of Capitol Hill say despite seeing more police in this neighborhood, crimes continue to happen. I mean, I think it can happen anywhere in D.C. I don't think it's, I mean, it's not a good thing, obviously, but I don't really think it's that uncommon. So I've had my car broken into multiple times and just kind of watch it back. Now, police say just about 10 minutes later, another carjacking happening just down the street outside Elliott Hine Middle School. Police say the victim was in the car when he or she was struck by a dark color BMW and what is being described as a bump and run type carjacking. Now, take a look here at the license plate police are giving us. The suspect saying that they made off with a 2013 Silver Infinity DC tag EJ0362. Now, the investigation into all of this is ongoing and it is good to know as well. Police warned drivers back in September about crimes like this when there were three carjackings and one armed carjacking happening all within a very short period of time within each other in the month of September happening right here in Northeast and Southeast D.C. Reporting live, Brianne Carter, ABC 7 News.